Welcome to Photo Play's YouTube channel and welcome back to Tuesdays with Tina. My name is Tina Smith and today I'm super excited to share two projects with you that we're creating with the Photo Play Papers Birthday Bash Card Kit. Last week we did a process video sharing how to create these eight beautiful cards that are on the masculine theme side and today we are going to create two more cards using the card kit leftovers. We're going to be using the same supplies that we used with the card kit and so you won't need anything extra which is really nice. Well with the exception of card bases um, I'm going to be using two A2 card bases and then I'm also going to be using some white card stock. After you create your eight cards with the photo play papers birthday bash card kit this is what's left over, okay? Three 12 by 12 sheets. I'm not going to use these on my projects today because I always like to say that since there are three sheets extra, you get six in total, so two of each sheet. Um, three sheets go for the eight cards, but then you have these left over. The back side has some fabulous pattern papers if you want to use them. The front of them have the same designs that you can create eight more cards. All you would need to do is pick up this extra sticker sheet. Photo play paper, or your favorite craft stores will sell this card kit sticker sheet individually. Um, I do want to mention that Photo Play Paper also has the Birthday Bash 12x12 collection that has a sticker sheet. So just make sure that if you do pick up the sticker sheet, it says card kit on it. Look for the party at the very bottom. So you can double your cards, so you just need some more card bases. So I always say that, and I don't use these when I make my bonus cards. This is the sticker sheet that's left over. Um, in a variety, we have some presents, we have dude, we have happy birthday, we have lots of stars, we have you are limited edition, party hat, streamers, we're going to be using a few stickers on our cards today, and then we have lots of the pattern papers left over too, including the indexed pieces that I, that I trim out when I create my eight cards. That's everything that's left over. Now what we're going to do is create our card bases and grab some of our pattern papers. For my first bonus card, I have a panel. This panel measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And then I picked out these four pattern papers. We have, this is a, I would say a plaid print. This is the reverse side. We have the green tone on tones. That's the reverse side. We have the polka dots. And then we also have this print here. This is the reverse side. We're going to be using this and layer them on our panel here. I mentioned at the beginning that we're going to be using the same supplies that we used when we created our eight cards from the Birthday Bash card kit. So I have the two and a half inch die that I use to create a circle. I just die cut out a circle using this with white cardstock. Okay, if you don't have a die, you can use a hole punch or a circle punch and create a circle. I am also going to be bringing in a corner rounder for this card, the same black twine. I'm also going to bring in the gems that we used for that last card. We're going to start by doing a little bit of layering. I'm going to first take this pattern paper. I'm going to use glue. I'm going to add it behind here. And we're going to layer all four stripes on this panel and I'm leaving it maybe a, a little less than half of an inch on the very bottom here. If some overhang that's okay we can just trim that away. And then I'm also going to layer our yellow. And I'm overlapping it just a little bit. We're going to add our green. And then we're going to go ahead and add our blue plaid. So we have a nice printed pattern. I'm going to use my scissors and trim away the excess. I'm going to bring in my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners at the very top. 
I'm also going to bring in my punch and I'm going to punch a hole in the center of the very top. I'm, bring, I'm going to add an eyelet to my hole punch. You can completely skip this step, but I do like to add a little texture. Basically, we're just creating a tag with this. I'm going to thread this through. I'm not going to tie a bow with this, okay? I'm going to go ahead and put foam tape behind this panel, and I'm bringing back my corner punch, and I'm going to round the corners of my card base. This is a standard A2 size card base. The card bases that I'm using are from Photo Play Paper. They're the A2 side folding card bases. And we're going to layer this right in the center. After we have this adhered, we're going to bring in a few stickers. We're going to use this birthday badge, okay, on our card today. And then I'm also going to be using the sticker that says you are a limited edition. I'm going to take this and layer this on some white cardstock, leaving a little bit of a white border. And I'm going to I'm going to connect them so it looks like one sentiment. And then using my scissors, I'm going to trim around it. Okay, and then we have some stars. I think I'm going to use some stars on this card, but I'm not sure of my placement because we're going to add our circle first. Before we add our circle, I'm going to take a black marker. If you don't have a black marker, you don't. Um, you can use just a, a regular pen. Any any black pen would work. And I'm going to add some faux stitching around this circle. While I have my pen out, I'm also going to take it and add some faux stitching at the very top and bottom of this tag that we created. I'm going to add some glue behind my circle. And I'm going to tack it in the middle of this tag that we created. And then I put foam, some foam behind my sticker here. We're going to put this right in the middle. I did the same thing with this greeting. It says you are a limited edition. I'm going to put this right underneath our badge. I'm going to tuck my twine underneath this sticker just so it stays positioned and then I'll just trim the tails of it. And I mentioned those stars. Let's go ahead and add a few. Then I have some green gems that we're going to add to this also. And that is my first bonus card. For my next card, I have these four pieces of pattern paper. This is a the brown one. We have a thin strip of the stripe paper, the blue. And then I also have this grid paper. I have a white piece of cardstock that measures two and three quarter inches wide by four inches tall. We're going to start by layering our pattern paper directly on this panel here. First, we're going to add our, our brown. And again, this will overhang and we can trim that off but I will go ahead and add the blue at the very bottom. I'm going to add this strip to the very top of my light blue pattern paper. I went ahead and trimmed what was overhanging, and of course we have this piece. I'm going to go ahead and, and trim this. I want this the length of my card base, so I'm going to line it up directly on my A2 card base, and then I'm just going to trim what's overhanging. So I have a perfect a perfect length for this. I'm going to use my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners on top. I'm also going to round the corners on top of my card base.
I'm going to bring in my twine and I'm going to wrap it around my card base a couple of times, maybe three times, and then I'm going to tie a bow towards the top here. Okay, and then I put some foam tape behind this panel. I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper and we're going to add this in the center of our card overlapping that tape. Now I'm going to take this, we're going to take this pattern paper, I'm going to put foam tape on the left and the right, and then I'm going to add glue to the center, and this is going to go right over the seam here. For this card, I'm using the stickers that say Dude. I went ahead and popped them up with some foam tape, and we're going to layer them in the center. Okay, and then I also put a, put foam tape behind the happy birthday. We're going to add this right at the very top. We have two presents. I'm going to kind of layer them together wonky, and then I'll flip these over. I'm going to add a foam tape behind here. I went ahead and put foam tape behind here, and we're going to place this just above the birthday. And lastly, for this card, we're going to bring back some green gems, and we're just going to add a few. And that will finish card number two. So here's a look at both cards that we made today with leftovers from the Birthday Bash card kit. I hope you enjoyed my projects. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.